hi guys welcome to my videos so guys today in this video I'm going to show you step by step how to apply for parent and grandparent visitor visa for New Zealand before I proceed further if you have not already subscribed to my channel please go and subscribe right now and also I would like to clarify neither I am an immigration consultant nor I am a government body so if you take anything out of this video you do it at your own risk and my intention is to show you how to just navigate through the service and um, whatever entries whatever information i put in in this video would be sample and may or may not work in your case all right guys so let's proceed so guys uh, we know like parent and grandparent visitor visa it's a uh, like you uh, they can stay up to six months and uh, like uh, then uh, uh, up to 18 months six months at a time and 18 months in three years period and in order to be eligible your uh, uh, son uh, I mean your son daughter or grandson granddaughter must be a New Zealand citizen or resident of course there are more criteria as well so I'm not going um, in that details but I'm gonna show instead how to apply so the first step is login into realme so I'm gonna log in you need to create an account if you don't have so I'm gonna log in so here uh, when we uh, uh, when we log in we see this page so I'm gonna click on my visa and from there I'm gonna proceed so I went in and I click on apply for a visa and we come to this screen it says that what you need credit card debit card photo documents acceptable I mean, I mean all the things that you need and let's go to the class temporary entry class visa are you outside New Zealand I select yes what kind of visa okay. if I go for residence class now close temporary entry yes what kind of visa you want to apply for group partner or child of a new zealand Australian resident or this is not visitor i'll select or australian no select the purpose of your visit i select family why do you want to visit new zealand I am a parent of uh, for a culture in marriage as a parent of a student I am a child adopted I want to visit uh, my New Zealand children and grandchildren this is the criteria ok and this visa is available for parents and grandparents to visit their family in New Zealand multiple times on the same visa yes click on it ok so now the application is created uh, let's say if you are going as a couple then you can add another applicant and that you can proceed uh, but for the purpose of this let's say a single person is applying so because this sample but le let's say uh, there's a couple who want to visit their child so husband wife both need to apply so in that case if husband is logging into they can click on add another applicant and add the wife but in this case just this one I'm, I'm just assuming a single person is going so I'm just clicking here Continue. next comes the identity details do you have a mono name like just one name like you these are very simple things uh, name I used other name so this you can easily uh, go through like your previous applications your uh, if you hold current Australian permanent not if you have ever traveled to New Zealand all these are very simple question passport details, birth details, other citizenship, contact details. So I am going to fill this sample in this and then I am going to click on uh, save and continue. Okay. Now on the next section is the purpose of visit. So it's by default selected. Is a child or grandchild sponsoring your visit? Agent holder. I select yes your final on they have to complete an online sponsorship form we'll open this in another link and we'll go at the end okay uh, are you able to finance support yourself during uh, your stay including onward travel i select yes but uh, if uh, you like if your uh, ch uh, child is sponsoring you can select no and then provide the details estimate date of arrival but I mean you need to be, do it based on your case not on, on what you are seeing here I'm gonna put some samples okay parental permission 
no i'm going to click on save and continue missed for this parental per, uh, permission no one under 16 otherwise uh, i mean they need permission right so i'm going to click on save and continue character have you ever been committed a crime of offense driving offense i select no under investigation you need to read out carefully and then you need to answer just don't go blindly like me <laughs> is health and you have triple closes i select no but you need to answer as per your situation especially in old ages a um, lot of people do need additional medical care how long you are planning so i am selecting this this is employment current employment so let's say this person is not working so i select retired details of your last paid work so i am just going to put some sample details and i'm going to click on save and continue okay but you need to provide your actual whatever is the situation if you are working provide the details relationship status what is your relationship status so i select widow but whatever is applicable in your case you got to any contact and is yes because is being sponsored so <laughs> definitely they are going to be there it's going to be family <laughs> address phone number and other things so i'm just going to put some sample guys and then i'll go to the next stage stage migration assistance personal coverage i select no but whatever is applicable in your case you got to do assistance application no and then i can click on save and continue documentation part i select yes coming to the sponsor name of your sponsor email sharing id please copy and paste the number carefully okay fine identity passport national identity documentation household registration purpose of visit evidence evidence of genuine intent evidence of if applicable other Uh, other evidence declaration so after that you go to the next section which is review and declare so i'm not going to go over there and this is the form inz1256 so here in our sample case what is happening is like the principal applicant is applying as a grandparent or parent to uh, to somebody who is a new zealand resident maybe citizen whatever so he is submitting the application so he is doing this sponsor and supporting partner form so it's very simple like sponsor must sign section ab must also sign c and d if you if they have supporting partners then they also need to sign b c and d so they sign section c if the person submits for the license immigration advisor or person as okay if the person submits form is only providing assistance to you by record the information okay if you are supporting partner who will be also acting as sponsor you must also sign section okay it's very simple like application i number here signature declaration privacy right sig signature of sponsor or sponsor partner whatever authority to act if applicable online form okay that's very simple so that's how it works guys and i hope you're going to like this video thanks for watching